friends, Susie here. Thanks so much for tuning in today. Hope everybody's doing well out there. I was just getting ready for work, so I just did my makeup and I wanted to share um, some products with you guys. I just have been using some new products, uh, things that I've picked up, and I just kind of wanted to share them with you guys and show you uh, just what I've been using. A lot of them I am wearing, so you'll get to see kind of what it already looks like. Um, once I apply it, but I just wanted to share these products because they are some of my new like favorite things uh, Things that I have really been loving and Just really enjoying so if you guys are ready and want to see uh, Some of the things that I have been really enjoying and loving lately then keep on watching So I am gonna go through uh, these items kind of quickly not like quick like not throw but just quickly because I do need to finish getting ready for work um, I just spur of the moment thought you know what let me go ahead and film this so I still got my wet hair and everything um, but I do want to share these with you guys so one of the first things I've really been loving and it's really only been like a week that I've been using this but I so far am just really enjoying it um, I think it's way too early to tell a difference, but I can definitely tell a difference in, I guess, like the uh, the look, overall look of my skin. Um, so I picked these up off of Amazon, and these are the Good Molecules. Um, there's two serums. Uh, this one is a Discoloration Correcting Serum. Uh, it improves the appearance of hyperpigmentation and dark spots, and this has um, a ingredient uh, called like Tremenetix Acid. I will leave it down below as I'm talking about it. Um, but I did pick this up and this was I think around $10 on Amazon. So it's a really good price. Um, I do really like this one. I use this one at night. And then this is the Niacinamide Serum, which was only like $6 on Amazon. Um, you can use both of these day or night. Um, you can use both of them under makeup if you want. Uh, I actually use this one during the day and I've been using this one at night just kind of under my moisturizer as like an extra little step because I do deal with melasma which has actually been getting better and I do deal with a lot of old acne scars so I've been trying to kind of fade those and these have been working out really nicely for me. They're affordable and I really like that they're not greasy. They don't feel like tacky and weird on the skin. Uh, they feel really good under your moisturizer and I just feel like overall my skin has just had a little bit more of a glow to it since I've been using them. My pores are looking a little bit smaller and even under makeup, I just feel like it just looks really good so i have been really loving these um another product that i've really been loving is this foundation from nude sticks uh this is in nude number three and it is a really nice kind of light to medium foundation i picked this up uh, on sephora's website i always get the delivery and i'm pretty sure you guys saw when i got um my package delivered i did like a unboxing kind of thing um, but I really like this foundation. Uh, it's just a really good one. I, I like um, how it's not too heavy. It has like kind of a dewy finish to it, which I personally really like. It's not overly matte. It doesn't look overly cakey. For me, it's like a just good all around foundation. It doesn't move around too much. I just really like it. And it's not too too expensive. It's like a little bit higher uh, than your drugstore prices, but it's definitely not horrible. I want to say it was like in the $30 something range, so it's not too bad at all. But if you're looking to try maybe a good uh, foundation that is pretty good for, I would say, almost every skin type, um, it's, it's good for dry, it's good for oily. I don't really notice that it, it's better for one or the other, and that gives you kind of a nice dewy glow. Definitely check out this Nude Sticks foundation. So over my foundations, one of the things I've been loving is from e.l.f., and this is their Dewy Coconut Setting Mist. Uh, this is amazing. Just wanna say amazing, I love it. I'm wearing it today. It kind of gives you like a dewy kind of finish to your face uh, when you spray it rather than matte, which 
especially, especially now in the winter time, my skin has been a lot drier than it is in the summer, obviously. And I've just really been kind of using more dewy products in the winter time just to keep my skin looking kind of fresh, hydrated, plump, not so matte and dry and, and you know, just ashen. So I've been really using this, um, loving it. So how I like to apply it is I actually spray down a big fluffy brush and then I just pat it all over my face. I just pat it. And instead of like spraying down my whole face, it applies a real nice layer of setting mist. It also feels really refreshing. I love the smell. It's a really nice tropical coconutty smell, but more so I just think it makes my makeup last longer and it kind of keeps my face makeup from sliding around throughout the day. So I've really been enjoying this. It is very inexpensive um, and it's it's good. I think it's like $10 or under, so it's, it's not bad. Um, I actually purchased this at Walgreens and I just really, really like it. I think if you are into kind of that dewy finish, I'm wearing it today, then you would really enjoy the dewy coconut setting mist. Which leads me right into my Benefit Goof Proof Brow Powder. Also wearing that today. Really been enjoying it. I've been dipping in there. For someone who likes using brow powder compared to like a brow pencil, just because of the fact that I've had ombre powder brow done and when I go to fill in, I'm, I'm filling up a little bit more space um, than someone that's just filling in their eyebrows. So for me, this is perfect. It literally lasts all day. Uh, it has a really good color to it. It's very pigmented and it's not too, too expensive. It's in the 20s. Um, but I do find like I don't need much. I mean, it's gonna take me a while to go through this because you really don't need much at all. And if you're looking for a good brow powder, then I think you would really enjoy this one. I think it's a, a really, really good one um, to use and it, it lasts throughout the day. I'm from e.l.f. Skin, this is their Woe Glow uh, SPF 30 sunscreen and makeup primer, the Sun Touchable. This is in Sunbeam. So this isn't quite so much uh, a tinted moisturizer per se. It is like a tinted sunscreen. It is a tinted sunscreen, but it is very, very light. Um, the tint is extremely light, so you can just barely kind of see it as it comes out. It's really light. Um, this would be something I would wear like if I'm going out, but it's, you know, daytime. I uh, just kind of want to, you know, shield my skin from the sun. I don't want to like do too much. Just kind of a nice like dewy, you know, natural look. Um, this is what I would reach for. And it is a little bit pricier. I think it's like close to the $10 uh, range for this small container, but it's honestly worth it. I think it's, it's very good. It does give you like a nice little glow. There's not very much tint, so you don't have to feel like you, it's not going to match because I feel like it pretty much matches whatever. Um, it looks really good and I just really like this as a face sunscreen. You can also use it under your makeup. Uh, I personally just like to wear it on my natural days when I'm not wearing makeup and just have a little bit of tint. This is what I reach for. And I guess lastly, I'm just going to kind of go into the e.l.f. H2O Proof Eyeliner Pen in Jet Black. I'm actually almost running out of this. I need to repurchase it. I love it. Um, it's been a great uh, product. I don't feel like it lasts as long as some of my other eyeliner pens, but I also feel like it's quite a bit cheaper. And I, I like the pigmentation I get. I mean, I'm wearing it today. Um, the thing is, I feel like you just don't seem to get a lot of product in there, which is uh, a little bit of a letdown for me, but for the price and the, you know, ease of access, I can just go to any drugstore and get it. I really, really like it. Um, as far as blush, I don't really have anything new that I would say that I'm using there. Um, but for my mascara, I, I have really been loving the plastic eyelash curler that I got off Amazon. I'll try to leave a link to it in the description box. This has been great. It doesn't tug at my eyelids 
it doesn't cause any allergic reactions so i've really been loving that and this is like i think five or six bucks and then i've been using that with the tower 28 make waves mascara and this is in the black and i really love this mascara i'm wearing it today as well and i've really been enjoying it it just gives me enough volume it lasts it doesn't flake it's not waterproof but it looks really good it separates the lashes just really been enjoying it and i do like the packaging on it as well it's very cute so i hope you guys enjoyed this really quick video just showing you guys some of the new products i've been using and loving if you do like some of these products do leave me some comments down below let me know or if you have some recommendations i'm always up for recommendations let me know as well and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys